Hi everybody. Happy Monday. Happy last day of November. What in the world? Where did the time go? My name is Stephanie. Welcome to the Keto Mom page. I was going to hop on here real quick and just simply ask you a question or maybe just give you some advice, right? And the question simply is this, is the, com first of all, thank you for being so patient and I am back in my inbox. And so you can message me your goals. You can ask questions. We've caught up. All the questions are answered. If you are brand new, I got kicked out of my inbox. It's not a big deal. I was out of it for a week with no explanation from social media, but that's okay. It, I had great adaptability, right? So if you are brand new, post new below. I would love to get to know you. Where are you tuning in from? Is anybody doing any more shopping today? Has anybody done any shopping all weekend? Who's done with Christmas shopping? Did you even start? So I hope you had a wonderful Thanksgiving for those of you who are in the United States, for those of you who are in other countries. I hope you're having a great day. Okay, here's the question. Uh, here's a question I've been getting a lot is how do I keep going during just this time? Ugh. How do I keep going during this time of uncertainty? Or how do I get started, right? How do I keep going or how do I get started? I'm in a slump. I, you know, uh, everything seems so unclear. When are we going to get to do things? When is our city going to open back up? Um, so first of all, okay. So, hey, Kim, why don't you private message me and I will uh, send you a voice clip of your question. So you can always message me every time you have questions. Just go to the Keto Mom Facebook page. You're here. Press message. Send me your message and I will work back and forth with you. So here's the deal. And I'm going to give you an example. If you're watching my stories from today on Keto Mom Secrets, it's my Instagram. So Keto Mom Secrets, all one word. On my stories, I shared it was my daughter's half birthday today. We used to do half birthdays a long time ago. Uh, I would make a cake, cut it in half. It was just fun. I don't know. For some reason, we just stopped doing them. And today's her half birthday. Facebook reminded me of this. So we went down the street to our favorite coffee shop. Well, it's a cute little diner that they had to shut down because our state is shut down. Except for you can still go to the store and Black Friday shop, but that's another story. So um, this sweet little place is shut down. So we went and got some of their favorite drinks. And when we went through and got one, uh, of course it's full of sugar. It's a strawberry drink. And so my, I say, hey, why don't we go celebrate Annie's half birthday? We had something fun. I did not get one. I want to tell you something. So for those of you who are going, man, I've been sitting at home or I've been working from home. I've got my kids home. How in the world do I do all of this? I'm, I'm talking about you, right? You might feel like I'm eating my emotions. Uh, I don't know how to get back on track. I want to know your why. Why do you want to get back on track? Why do you want to feel better? Why do you want to eat healthier? Why do you want to get to the end of December and go, you know what? I, I'm so thankful that I did not give in and just binge for the next 30 days because I don't want to start my resolutions off. If you're going to choose to set one, I don't want to start 2021 off having to lose all of 2020. Do you get it? Do not start next year trying and having to lose everything that you've gained this year. So I know easier said than done. If you do not have a strong enough why of why you are here and why you want to get healthy, you won't be able to go and get your kids a treat and say no to the treat. I worked out this morning. I've been working out consistently for a long time. So for me not to get a treat, it was fine. I told the girls, I said, hey, you guys can get a treat. It's totally fine. Happy, happy seven and a half years, Annie, right? Just fun. But for me, I felt amazing that morning, this morning. I didn't need something sugary in my head. I've got some goals and I go, I have to tell myself, here's the deal. I don't want to feel like crap. Like I don't want to. Uh, my kids are, kids are active, right? So they're going to run, they're, my kids are at home running wild, easily going to run that thing off very soon. So I just want to know something. I would challenge you today to set your intentions and to set your goals and to figure out your why before tomorrow, before the 1st of December. Why are you here? Why do you tune into the Keto Mom page? Why do you maybe watch some other people? Because here's the one thing I need you to know. 
And I've, I've taken, and this is with business or relationships or your health, anything to do with your children, you can gather all of the information that you want, right? You can watch people's videos, you can read books, you can listen to podcasts, you can learn a plethora of information. I can teach you how to eat keto or low carb or why I drink ketones. I can teach you why you should drink more water. I can teach you all of the things, but if you're not gonna put it into action, then it's worth nothing, right? So I would challenge you to make this next month, take what you know and put it into action. There's no more needing to learn. You can come here for accountability. You can come here for encouragement. You can come here for recipes and tips and tricks and ideas, but take what you've learned and put it into action. If you're brand new, continue to tune in, right? We're gonna help you. We are going to guide you. Private message me. I will give you lots of things to learn from and ask questions. I will always answer all of my questions by the end of the night. So, you know you should drink more water. You know that you should probably not be eating all of the leftover pie from from Thanksgiving all the way until Christmas, right? Some of my girls want to make non-keto desserts. I get it. I said, awesome. Let's make them with grandma. Not at our house. So I don't eat all of them, right? It's not that we're perfect. We are not. Uh, But I also know to set limits of what I can do and what I can't. So if there are certain cookies in the house, it is going to be a challenge not to eat them. If there is pie in the house, bring it to the office. Maybe nobody's going to the office. It's okay to sometimes throw it away. I know you're like, I don't want to waste. Well, I had to. So here's the deal. I want you to get focused. I want you to know your why, right? Why are you here? Why do you want to get healthy? Is it for you or your kids? Do you, are you wanting to feel better? What, whatever it is, right? Write it down, put it on your mirror at home, put it on your refrigerator and know that you're worth it. You are worth it. And it's not complicated. If you're trying to dive into this lifestyle and you're getting overwhelmed, you're making it too complicated. I want you to work on your water intake. I want you to cut back on the bread, pasta, and the potatoes, right? Eat more protein, eat more veggies. Don't get overwhelmed with how many carbs are in the broccoli right now. You will learn and you will learn and you will grow and you'll adapt. You'll figure out how your body reacts to foods. You'll feel hungry and you'll eat. If you're not hungry, you're going to challenge yourself to not eat, even if you're emotional, even if there's food left on the counter, right? So there's so many things you're going to learn. It's a process, but do not wait. Do not wait until next year and do not get to next year and have to lose all of this year. You can actually accomplish a lot and create some great habits over the next 30 days. So continue to tune into the page. I'm always here to help. There's still a promo on my mom fuel. It ends tonight. If you want to know more, private message me. Um, But I really want to know, where are you tuning in from and who has done some Black Friday shopping? Or who's done with their Christmas shopping? I'm not, but I'm doing a lot online. Uh, Here's my last tip. I just ate this because I didn't, I wasn't hungry for lunch. Um, I don't often share a lot of like, you can't get these at the store, but this company, I have most, most keto companies send me a ton of products and snacks to try. Tons. Most of them I don't like, so I don't share them with you. But this company sent me these bars. So if you're looking for a bar, I'm not, I already ate it. It's gone. I'm not a big bar person. It's a company in Canada. Um, They have, I think, three different flavors. This is the only one that I liked. I don't like lemon anything, and I didn't like the dark chocolate. But if you are a bar person, and if you are looking for some bars to keep on hand, I like to have things in my car so I don't get hangry if I ever am doing stuff. This is a delicious bar. So there you go. I'm sharing something that... This company shared with me. They're great. They're out of Canada. I had My husband ordered me like 12 boxes because I truly love them so much. Um, but it's a great little filler. I wasn't into lunch. I just wasn't hungry. So it's 2 o'clock and I just ate one. But other than that, um, I don't know if you can buy them in Belgium. You'll just have to go online. I would just probably Google Love Good Fats. I don't know. I think that's what it's called. Just Google Love Good Fats or they have a website. I don't know. That's what it's called. You have to Google around. I don't have a link. I'm not getting paid by them. They're just delicious. So there you go. I hope you guys have a great day. Always, always, always here to help. And we will talk to you very soon. Bye, everybody.